This is my 1999 uh, Volkswagen T4 2.5 TDI. It's got the ACV engine. Uh, back in the summer in the warmer weather I had some starting problems. Uh, this turned out to be a problem with the pump timing and the way to adjust the pump timing uh, was to use uh, VAGCOM or VCDS uh, to call up the TDI timing graph and then um, I just adjusted the um, the idler wheel on the belt. It only needed a very small adjustment to bring it within limits and that fixed the starting problem. So right up until the end of the summer um, it would uh, start on first turn of the key, no problems. However, when the colder weather came along um, the starting problem returned. So I checked the uh, the belt, uh, the pump timing and it all looked okay. So I had to look further afield. So <clears throat> my investigations uh, took me to the glow plugs <clears throat> and I discovered that uh, there was no voltage getting to the glow plugs even though the glow plug relay could be heard clicking in and out and uh, I'll show you what uh, what I found and what I had to do um, now before if, if you have a similar problem and before you do the if you need to do the work that I did um, please just disconnect the battery first uh, you don't want to end up causing additional problems um, to the one you've got so anyway, the problem turned out to be the fuse box. So if I go into uh, where the fuse box is, if you've removed the fuse box in the past, you'll know that you just need to take the, the little plastic cover off and then there's a, there's a metal plate with three 13 millimeter uh, bolts and nuts. That comes off. Now on the 2.5 TDI, um, the 103 relay is the glow plug relay and that sits in this location down here sorry about the light it's not very good let's see if i can position the light a bit better for you <coughs> there we go so the relay sits there <clears throat> and you can feel this clicking when you turn the ignition when the temperature is cold but as i say there was no voltage getting through to the glow plugs if you pull one of the um, wires off the uh, the glow plug, one of the glow plugs, you can measure the 12 volts and uh, there was no 12 volts there. Um, to do that you've got to um, lift out the radiators um, into the service position so you can gain access. It's all pretty tight in the engine bay. Anyway, this is what I found. So <clears throat> I found that by wiggling the relay um, I could get it to work. So I pulled the relay out and then this is what I found underneath. get the light in here. Um, you can see that it's, it's, it's hard to point at this because I'm uh, holding the light on the camera. Um, there's a large vertical um, slot at this end and a large horizontal slot at the other end of where the relay goes. That's where the main current passes. The current's about 70 amps. It's quite high. Um, you can see two gold prongs um, in this uh, terminal here. Um, there are two on the adjacent side, um, they make contact with the relay pins and you've got two at the bottom here and there's two at the top. Now <clears throat> what seems to have happened over the years, the current is quite high, it's obviously uh, had some resistance on the contacts, that's uh, caused things to heat up and that has melted the contacts into the plastic. <clears throat> so the contacts have lost their springiness and don't push properly on the uh, relay terminals. So what I've done, you can just see, I've dremeled two slots just below the contacts there and then using a, a very small jeweler screwdriver and a, and a small hammer I've just tapped them loose until they move um, and then I've pushed them over to sort of close up the gap. It seems to be the ones on this horizontal terminal, the ones at this end, the vertical ones, seem okay. Um, don't quite know why that is I guess for some reason these are the ones where the heat gets generated so um, that's uh, enabled me to make the contacts tight again um, and so I'll be able to put it all back together I know looking online other people have uh, suggested removing the whole fuse panel um, <coughs> taking all the fuses all the relays out the wire connections off the back splitting the fuse box uh, into the its two halves and then you can pinch the the terminals down with a pair of pliers that might be the better solution but it's not without risk i mean this is over 20 years old now and uh, you know if i break something one of the the copper bus bars or something in there then 
I've got a whole load of grief which I didn't have before. So I thought I'd try this sort of minimally invasive uh, method first and uh, and it seems to have been successful. So if that helps you get your T4 going and saves you a load of grief, then uh, that, that's great. If not, you'll have to uh, dig deeper and either take the fuse uh, panel apart um, or you'll have to um, fit the relay externally and uh, tap into the wiring which uh, is never very neat, but um, needs must, because without your glow plugs, you're not going to start when the, when the weather's cold. So I hope that helps.